baba The hand of the Lord and shower of blessings. His Eminence Julius Olayinka Osayade Abe JP Primate of the African Church. Dad, you are welcome, sir. It's my pleasure to be here. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Before the um, ministration, sir, and um, shower of blessings, for this new month, we would like to ask some significant questions with reference to the scripture. Says, I will have mercy on whom I have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. As a man of God, can you throw more light to the scripture for better understanding? Thank you very much. When God says, I will show mercy to whom I will show mercy and I will show compassion to whom I will show compassion. He is only expressing his sovereignty. Our God is almighty, he is all powerful and he has every right to do what pleases him. And whenever he does anything, he cannot be questioned. It's not as if God is trying to raise some people and then destroy others. No, it's only trying to let people know that he possesses this power and he can use this power at his will to, to promote himself, to let people know and recognize that he is powerful, he is almighty, and he's unquestionable. Wow, what a wonderful submission, sir. Uh, from what you said, sir, what um, can probably be a liable interests for someone not probably to be worthy of receiving this mercy of God that we're talking about? A lot of things can stand as hindrance or hindrances to anyone receiving the mercy of God. If you are not in the family fold of God, you cannot partake of His mercy. If you are living a sinful life, you cannot partake of his mercy. If you don't humble yourself, because it says those who humble themselves, they will uplift. And those who, who, uh, who raise themselves up, they will humble. So if you don't humble yourself, you can't partake of God's mercy. Like I said, is an expression of his sovereignty over mankind. 
just like for instance uh, the story that Jesus told us about a man who uh, hired laborers at different times. The man, the, the man who hired the laborers decided to pay the same wages to all the laborers. And the last and they are the first person that he hired early in the morning. So I've been laboring since morning and you are giving me the same wage with these people who just came in at the at the last hour of the day. I said, what injustice have I done to you? This money belongs to me and I can decide to do whatever pleases me with it. So God is just expressing his uh, uh, sovereignty by so doing. But at the same time, we must always be in good standing, good relationship with him for us to enjoy this. Way. So if you are not, then such things will hinder us. Yeah, you made allusion to the fact that the one has to be a family of God before you can probably enjoy yeah. this uh, mercy of God that you're talking about. And then you also talk of being in good standing as well. I wanted to ask in the first place that what exactly um, would have been the best way for one to be rightly positioned to be able to enjoy this mercy of God. But I think you've been able to touch on um, the question. I, I would like you to throw light on what you just said, for a layman to be able to have a better understanding of being rightly positioned to enjoy the mercy of the Lord. Thank you very much. Uh, being in the right position to enjoy the mercy of God, one, you have to acknowledge God. You have to accept Him as the Lord. You have to humble yourself before Him. You have to worship Him. You have to revere Him. You have to uh, honor Him in every respect. The Bible says in, in Psalm 112 that blessed is the man who fears the Lord and whose delight is in His commands. And He says riches and wealth will be in His house. Generations yet unborn will continue to proclaim His name. This is, the, this is an, a, a, a clear example of those who will enjoy the blessing. If you fear the Lord and your delight is in His command, then you can be sure that His blessings, His mercies will be yours. Well, you had from the ox's mouth, the primate of the African church, giving us an understanding of the fact that, yes, for you to be able to enjoy the mercy of the Lord, then you must um, acknowledge God. You must fear him and then you must of course ensure that you are in right tune with this god of ours and that's just the only way through which you can be rightly positioned to enjoy the mercy of the lord yes we are crossing over from the month of may to the month of june sir uh, what is the, uh, is the expectation of um, one who believes in god for the month of june and as well what should be our expectation generally as a country in this critical time that we find ourselves in. Yes, it is true that our hopes are very, very high, especially those who are in God, those who believe in God in this country and all over the world. Our hopes are very, very high because this month of June that we are crossing into right now, I want to assure you that we are going to experience divine visitation. Jesus is going to visit us in our homes, he's going to visit us in our businesses, he's going to visit us in our schools, he's going to visit us in all our undertakings. And I want to take my Bible reading from John chapter 5 verses 1 to 10. Let me just summarize what is there. Um, Jesus, we are told, was in Jerusalem and in the area that he was there is, a, there is a pool called Bethesda. In this pool there are colonnades, five colonnades and um, in these five colonnades we have all manner of sick people lying there waiting for the stirring of the uh, pool which come you know from time to time 
you know, an angel will come down and stir up that pool, and the first person that gets into the uh, pool gets healed, no matter what the sickness may be. And Jesus met this man who has been there at the side of the pool for a good 38 years. 38 years waiting for healing. Oh, I'm praying for somebody here today. Your time of waiting will come to an end in the name of Jesus. You will not wait any longer to receive your miracle. Your miracle will come to you this month of June in the mighty name of Jesus. All you need, just believe. Just believe that Jesus is what you need. Brethren, I want you to know that Jesus has powers over so many things. Number one, he has powers over time. Time is not a barrier to him. That man had been there for 38 years. He was there at the side of the pool for 38 years. And Jesus approached him and said, Man, do you want to get healed? Say, oh, I have nobody to help me. I've been here. And Jesus knew that he had been there for a very, very long time. And Jesus said, get up, pick up your mat and walk. And immediately the man stood up and started walking. So whether the man had been there for 38 years or for 100 years or for donkey years, it doesn't really matter to Jesus. I don't know whatever problems you might be having. Maybe you've been looking to, up to God for one thing or the other for a very long time. This month is your month because it's your month of divine visitation. Secondly, Jesus had power over some of the elements that we depend on for our blessing, for our healing, for our breakthrough. Like for instance, water. That water was very, very significant. Water in form of a pool or a river or ocean or sea or what have you is very, very significant in this story. But Jesus bypassed all this. He didn't need water for that man to get his healing. He didn't need all those elements to get that man his miracle. And I'm telling you today, if you believe in Jesus and you have Jesus in your home, in your life, in your marriage, in your business, in your school, in your education, in your enterprise, in your, in your travels, in your journeys in life, you can be sure that Jesus will bypass whatever may want to stand as a barrier to your blessing, to your success. Thirdly, Jesus had power over uh, uh, infirmity. All, you are told that all sorts of infirmities, all sorts of sicknesses were there at the side of the pool. But Jesus did not even care to know what kind of sickness the man was having. He just said, do you want to get well? He said, I've been here. This is, my, this is the reason why I've been here. And she said, get up. Go. What are you doing here? You have no business to be here. And immediately the man jumped up and packed his mouth and left. You see, Jesus had power over all forms of infirmity, all forms of sickness, all forms of challenges that you may be having. Jesus will overcome them. And this is your month. This month of June is your month of divine visitation. Jesus is visiting you to heal you. So there's not, no sickness that is so difficult for Jesus to heal. Also, we're told that in that story, angels used to come and stir up the water for it to become uh, 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 infected with healing. Jesus did not need any angel for him to perform that miracle. He didn't have to wait for an angel to do the stirring of the water before the man was healed. He didn't even need the water or the angel or anybody. No, he didn't need any one of them. Jesus performed this miracle despite the fact that there was no angel around because he had command of the angels. He had power, superiority power over all these angels. We are told in the Bible in the scripture that there was a time that God sent an angel to Daniel, uh, to, uh, yes, to Daniel, and you know, this angel was delayed, so angels could be delayed to carry your message to you, your healing, your miracle, they could be delayed, so you don't need to depend on angels, all you need, my brother, my sister, is Jesus, you need Jesus this month, 
of June. And if you believe in him, he's going to visit you and visit your situation. Jesus also has power, superiority power, over tradition of men. The people ask, they challenge Jesus. You have done this. This is Sabbath. You are not supposed to do what you have done. And lo and behold, he healed this man, irrespective of whether it was a Sabbath day or not. So Jesus will not be bad, will not be stopped, will not be uh, 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 stopped from doing what he had to do. And that is why I'm telling you, if you have Jesus with you, tradition of men cannot stop your miracle. Tradition of men cannot stop your blessing. And your blessing will surely come to you if you have Jesus in your life. This month of June is your month of divine visitation. I'm assuring you, all you need is Jesus. And I want you to join me in singing this song in our hymn, uh, in our hymn book. Be gone, unbelief. The Savior is, my Savior is near. Be gone, unbelief. My Savior is near. And for my relief will surely appear. By prayer let me wrestle, and he will perform. With Christ in the vessel, I smile at the storm. With Christ in the vessel, you will surely smile at the storm. With Christ in your home, with Christ in your marriage, with Christ in your business, with Christ in your endeavors, you will surely smile at any challenge that comes to you. Because God will use Jesus to do what no man can do for you. And so I'm praying for you, you that are listening to me today, that Jesus, the healer, will visit you this month of June. Jesus, the compassionate, will visit you this month. Jesus, the comforter, will visit you this month of June. Jesus, the provider, will provide for you. Jesus, the deliverer, will deliver you this month. Jesus, the protector, will protect you from all dangers this month in the name of Jesus. Jesus, the defender, will defend you in the face of all your enemies this month in the name of Jesus. Jesus, the rock of ages, on whom you stand and you are unmovable, will visit you and you will not be moved. You will not be moved. Your position will not become vacant this month in the name of Jesus. Jesus, the avenger of the oppressed, will avenge for you this month. All those that are oppressing you will have themselves to blame because Jesus is visiting you in your home, in your business. Those that are oppressing you will regret whatever they are doing against you because he's going to be with you this month of June in Jesus. Jesus, the all-powerful, will be there for you to do anything that you may require. He's going to bring your miracle. He's going to fast track your miracles for you. He's going to break all barriers to your success this month of June. Every barrier to your success will be broken. Your miracles will be fast tracked. Everything that you need will be supplied unto you. He will even command his angels to, 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 to minister to your needs. He will remove your shame and your reproach this month of June in the mighty name of Jesus. And finally, he's going to silence all those who do not wish you well. This month is your month of divine visitation. And so shall it be in Jesus. I am His Eminence Julius O.O. Abbey, by the grace of God, to the primate of the African Church. God bless you. God bless Nigeria. God bless the African Church. Welcome back. It's been a spirit filled segment on the program for this new month of June ministration and shower of blessing through the power of anointing of our Father, His Eminence, Julius Olaika 
Osayade Abe, JP, Primate of the African Church. Till next month edition, while we come your way on this same TV station, OIT, the Omo Ileri TV channel, may every slide continue to be with you, to shine on you and shine upon our nation, Nigeria. In Jesus' name, hey amen. amen. Happy New Month. God bless you. Welcome to OITV. We have our father, His Eminence Julius Olaika Osaide Abi, JP, Primate of the African Church. He has a word or two to say on OITV. It's a great delight to be on OITV, Omoi Daily Television Platform today. It's a great delight to be on OITV platform today, Omar Ileri Television. Uh, we want to thank God for what he has been using Brother Samuel Olakule to accomplish on this propagation of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord has been using him mightily and wonderfully to reach out to the unreached, to spread the gospel of our Lord, to make sure that everybody has the privilege of getting their salvation. And I want to appreciate all his efforts, all his contributions. And so I want to encourage everybody, young, old, men and women, everybody, both far and near, to please always hook up to all the programs that they will be dishing out from this channel it is something that is going to enrich our lives, it is something that is going to promote God's uh, word in our lives, it is something that is going to lift us to the next level spiritually and you will never regret ever uh, watching any program on OITV and so it's having our endorsement by the grace of God all members of the African Church far and near and even those who are not members of the African Church those who really truly love God and want to uh, uh, have their lives enriched with the scripture in their life journey should endeavor to be part of all their programs and I'm sure by the grace of God, it's going to be a great blessing to you. And so, this OITV, Omo Ileri television channel, has our endorsement today in the name of God the Father, Amen. and the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. What's up, What's What's up, man? 
He won the mercy to T.I.A. Amen. 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 Amen.